So I'm just sitting <laughs> for the past five minutes and just thinking. So I'll just lock it at it. But um <clears throat> I was just thinking like you know, about <clears throat> about relationships and things like that. And I was just thinking to myself like I don't know if anyone would want to be be with me, you know. Um now let me put it another way. I don't think I have anything to give to another person. Like let's hypothetically, let's say someone says, "Okay, I was at a, I was at a bar and I was drinking and you know, whatever." I just never have. This is hypothetical. I'm just sticking in my head. And someone was talking to me, and let's say they found me interesting, and, and I was just thinking to myself. What would I respond if someone said they were interested in me? How would I respond to that? And I just, like, honestly, I was, you know, I just don't think uh, I, w I would be saying stuff. I was, you know, I was thinking what I would say to someone. And, um, and so. So, um, <laughs> one of the first thoughts that, maybe this might be a bit self-centered of me or whatever, I was to say, I would say, why would you, yeah, like, I don't think I have anything to offer you, uh, well, that sounds rejecting, but I'm just, let me just be honest. If someone was interested in me, I'd be like, I, I would, I would warn them. I would, I would tell them this is what you're going to get into. If you're interested in me, this is what you can expect. Uh, I really don't have much to offer you. Um, I don't know if I can even offer you emotional comfort, um, like because. The, the deeper you go inside, there is very little and little until you find a void of nothingness. <laughs> so the more you get to know me, the more you'll find out that I'm really, I'm a very boring person. I don't, I really, like honestly, like, I don't have much to offer you. I. I don't know if I can really care about you. Um, I don't even have any kind of interest in physical intimacy. You know, I don't have any interest or desire for sex or whatever. Frankly, I just, yeah, I don't have any interest in that. Uh, I just, so, other than the fact that, yeah, I mean, look okay. <laughs> it's just so fucking vain. Uh, oh, God. I really don't have much to offer anyone, you know? So, so that's what I will tell them. This is what you're going to get. A very boring person who may not be able to comfort you, who may not even be sexually interested in you, or not, 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 it has nothing to do with you, like, it's more like, I really don't have a sex drive, and I don't know, I just, I have problems with that kind of stuff, which, I just don't know if I can, uh, yeah, I don't mind just, uh, you know, Lying on the couch and watching the TV, that still sounds okay, but I don't think I can uh, sustain any kind of interest more than that. Lady with the dog. Don't just pee. Anyway, so, yeah, I was just thinking, like, I really don't know if I can really 
give anyone because people seem to be like they want a lot they want like I want this I want you to be there for me I want you to call me I want you to please me physically I was like oh fuck I don't know if I can do all that because I just don't have much to give you know if I was being really honest I really don't have much to give someone so so knowing knowing all that the fact that I really don't have much to give or you know, would you still want to be with me would you still want this, this old man this is walking by and looking at me <laughs> Knowing all that, would you still want to be with me? I was thinking, like, when you see these people, I mean, what, what makes a, a person desirable? Usually they have something you want. They might be able to give you something, that's why you desire them. They might be able to give you emotional comfort, physical satisfaction, or ego points then you know you might get an ego boost because you're with someone but if you really don't if you really so in a way I guess I might have something someone else may want you know you know maybe someone finds me whatever attractive or whatever maybe that's what they want but I don't know if I can actually, like, like, even if someone finds me attractive physically, I really do, can't do anything about it, you know what I mean? Like, like, you know, I don't like going out, I don't like being, or going to, I don't like socializing, I don't like going to parties, I don't, I mean, I'm just like, like a, thing you can look at like in a museum piece put it in a museum yeah let's look at it all right now let's go <laughs> maybe I'll, I'll, maybe I can be a museum piece but um, you know I just don't know if I have anything to give someone hmm. would you still want to be with me then no. Would I want to be with someone like that? No, for me it's like, well, I guess if you don't mind just... I don't mind talking to someone, I guess. I don't mind uh, being able to call someone and say, hey, what's up, what are you doing? Uh, let's go to this place. Maybe something like that might be good. Maybe, uh, but then again, I don't like going to places, so I don't know what someone would want hearing from me. Hmm. Hmm. Eh, I don't know, thinking about like all this, what like, people want, what like, this. You know, I want anything. I don't know, I guess I just want people to respect me, that's all. I mean, not like treat me like a, put me on a pedestal or anything, but just to you know, treat me with kindness and consideration. Leave me the, and not, and not bother me. Yeah, just like, don't, don't. Don't bother me. Don't harass me. Just let me be. Uh, okay, so I thought I'll just do an addendum. Addendum? Uh, addendum. Do my video on relationships um so this is the 10th of october it's a saturday um so basically i don't know my video was kind of 
depressing. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of negative on this whole idea of relationships, but the idea, um, but I guess <sighs> at the end of the day, relationships, like most things in life, are work. If you want to be in a relationship and you want to make it work or be functional, you have to put a lot of time and effort into it. It doesn't mean that your relationship will succeed, but I don't know what succeed, success means, but in order to have give it some kind of mm, life <laughs> you have to put a lot of time effort into it so you gotta um, spend time with the other person talk to them listen to them all that uh, and sometimes it just feels like is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? You know, sometimes you know, it just feels like that. But, you know, yeah, it's just a lot of work. And um, it just depends on you and the other person whether you want, you both want to make it work. So, whether you're compatible with each other and things like that. Okay, yeah, 